Hi, my name is Jim Egan, and I'd like to show you three build-it-yourself 3D geometry kits that are both educational and fun. Kit 1, the Platonic Solids. Back in 325 BC, Plato realized that there were only five regular polyhedra that have only one kind of face and the same number of vectors meeting at each vertex. The simplest of these Platonic Solids is the Tetrahedron, which Plato called fire because its pointy edges are sharp and stabbing like hot flames. The octahedron he called air because it looks so lightweight like it could float in the air. The cube he called earth because it looks so angular and solid. The icosahedron he called water because it's the roundest and it looks like it can flow like liquid. The dodecahedron he called the shape in which the heavens were embroidered. It's easy to make these models of, uh, out of cardboard and cutting out the faces and taping them all together but you'll be missing many important lessons that the shapes can reveal. To really understand the shapes, we'll make one set of them out of vectors, or lollipop sticks, and another set out of spheres, or marbles. The second kit is called the Amazing Cube Octahedron. Just as it sounds, the cube octahedron can be made by combining a cube and an octahedron, and then cutting off all the pointy stellations. But the great geometer Buckminster Fuller felt the cube octahedron was much more important than just an intersection of shapes. If you have one sphere and tightly pack as many same size spheres around it as you can so that they touch the central sphere and touch neighboring spheres, it makes the cube octahedral shape. No matter how many close packed layers you add, it always makes the cube octahedral shape. Bucky saw the cube octahedron not as a shape made from faces, but as an energy event made from vectors. The eight triangular and six square faces that make up this shape are important but the 24 vectors connecting, connecting the 12 vertices are even more important. That's why in this kit we'll make the cube octahedron from vectors, or lollipop sticks, and also out of spheres, marbles. The cube octahedron is special. Out of all the five platonics solids and the 13 Archimedean solids, the cube octahedron is the only one in which the length of the radiating vector is equal to the length of the edge vector. And after building a cube octahedron with radiating vectors, we'll have a much more tactile feeling for what Bucky calls the pulsation in this shape is the closest thing we will ever know to eternity and God. The real essence of the cube octahedron are the eight tetrahedra from which it is made. These eight tetrahedra are arranged in four pairs of tip-to-tip -tip tetrahedra, which I call Bucky bow ties, because Bucky liked wearing a bow tie. The bow tie is the most economical way to depict the behavior of light in a camera obscura or a camera or in your eye. All the rays crisscross right through the center of the point and an upside down triangle on one side is a right side up triangle on the other. Also hidden in the cube octahedron is the octet, a combination of an octahedron and a tetrahedron. If you assemble many octets together you get space frame. This is a matrix used by engineers and architects for roof supports for large industrial buildings and even for the, the main beam of the space station because it gives maximum strength for the minim minimum amount of materials used. We'll build a tetrahedron of space frame and find, hidden right in the middle of it, is a cube octahedron. This kit is a hands-on way to learn that the, a cube octahedron, the closest packing of spheres, the bucky bow tie, the octet and space frame are all basically the same thing. To make this clear, we'll also make all of these shapes using spheres, in this case, marbles. The third kit is called the flexible cube octahedron. First, we'll build a model from vectors, or lollipop sticks, and vertices, or flexible rubber tubing. Then we'll explore how the cube octahedron can be magically transformed into an icosahedron, an octahedron, or a tetrahedron but it will always spring back to its original cube octahedral shape. The finished model is flexible, but it's also quite durable. You can toss it around the room and it won't even break. These three kits contain everything you need to build the models. Hot glue gun, glue sticks, lollipop sticks, the marbles, a step-by-step -step instruction book, and even paper clip hooks so you can display your geometric sculptures as a mobile. With these three kits, while learning the wisdom of the ancients, you'll learn the geometrical principles of structure and construct models that are beautiful, educational, and fun.